Hello everybody, General J Gaming here and I'm here bringing you part 16 of my Dead Space walkthrough. Now, we are when in the area we fought the Brute. I just thought I may as well go from where we saved because it just uses up time. Now, let's just have a look. Okay, they're all far away from us. Let's go. Dun dun dun. Now we'll just get the plasma cutter out and deal with them. And they're all dead, just be careful in case one of them chooses to play dead. It's never a good thing. Especially when you take damage because of it. You have to make sure we store that large med pack. Wrong room. Oh yeah, benches in the far room. like so mm -hmm. should I why not now our plasma cutter is fully maxed out on damage which will mean we'll use less ammo which will help us greatly okay so Move the large med pack. See, I'll say large, 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 large. Grab a medium. Wait, why do we? Why are we storing a small med pack? Nonetheless, let's buy a power node in case we come across any doors that require power nodes. Now, just be careful of this room. Okay, nothing. I believe this is a bench. Yep. And we can't get into there. Flame fuel. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take that phone call. It was important. Okay, so... Now we're going to be attacked by Necros. The question is whether you actually want to fight them or not. Now you can just let the Necromorphs just jump in through the vents and attack you. That's one easy way to deal with them. So that pregnant will spawn. And if I'm not mistaken, we have another. Yes, okay, I'm correct. Second one gone. Just come out from here, and we will ride the lift. Lift elevator, whatever you'd like to call it. Just clean them up. Okay, how much? We've got no mid packs left. We're going to have to be a bit more careful now. Credits. Okay, yep, nothing there. Hey, Nicole. 
Now, the trick is, send all those dead bodies over there. To stop this bloated guy now. Just wait for them to... Come on. Isaac, yes. And that's the third one dealt with now. We are going to go to the third floor. We've got one more pod left, so what we're going what I'll do is when we get rid of the third uh, fourth and final pod, I will head back to the main room and that, I'm not going to do the boss fight in this part, I'm going to make boss fights in an entirely different part. Ruby Semiconductor. And this pod isn't really that difficult to get to. Okay, we've got a nice supply of all our ammos. Oh, this is fun. You can just simply cut that off. Well, apparently not. That one didn't want to have its explosive pod cut off. Okay, and that is all of them gone. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by them. Now, this is fun. As soon as you drag this open, you will get lurkers. Haha, <laughs> silly lurkers. Open it up. I mean, just look at this blood. Someone really should do something about that blood. Yeah, no help. Thanks. Now, this part isn't as hard as you think it is. Hello? Hello, security? So, get a flame canister. Of course I know there's a shipwide medical alert. That's why I'm trying to locate him. No, we're safe for now, but the tram is down and we can't reach the escape pod. Well, Hello? Truthfully, I've never actually tried blowing them up Hello? with flame canisters. It works. Okay, cool. Sorry, I have to take that by. Sorry guys, there's something important going on that... Yeah. Okay, I was not ready for that. Normally what will happen is he'll run through and you have the chance of him being set on fire. Okay, 
Okay, let's do this again. Hello? Hello, security? Thank God. This is Dr. Cross from Hydroponics. I'm trying Pick to up this like we did Temple. last time. I can't get through to engineering. Of course I know there's a shipwipe medical alert. That's why I'm trying to locate him. No, we're safe for now, but the tram is down and we can't reach the escape pod. Hello? Hello? Okay then. This will work out well. Truth I'm not fully sure if statusing it does work or not. I like to think it does. Die, you stupid poison pod. Look how weak the punch was. Oh. Finally, Kendra. Well, we can't blame Kendra for this. It's not her fault that crew members have been turned into poison pods of poisonous stuff. Dum dum dum. Well, Kendra, if that's not possible, how come it's happening? I think you're seeing things. Eh, it's just my opinion. So what we'll Anyway, the reason I'm si I was silent is because you could hear uh, something singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Anyway, we are going to recycle the air and then I will end off the part. I'll probably do all my sort of preparation outside of the video, then I will... Ah, um, not the scary vent. No! They're going to explode upon you and go... Rah, 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 rah. And just as your back's turned, your gigantic brutes just run down and squish you and stuff. Anyway. I'm helping you. I'm trying to help. I mean... If I do this, you'll die, so... Flushing all air vents. Restoring nitrogen and oxygen levels. Food storage lockdown lifted. Okay, so I would like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a nice day, and goodbye.